Good evening and welcome to Dinner Church Homestyle. Hello. Hello. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm good. I'm going to put this over here. So, uh, wow, thank you for this. Yeah, let's start with grace. Yeah, before I even let you see the plate, we'll, we'll start with it. All right, the Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us pray. Thank you, Lord, for this day, for this meal, for this time around our virtual tables. We pray that you'd bless this food and our time together, that we may be strengthened in your word so that we can do your will. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Okay, so we have um, tuna and this... <laughs> I don't understand cameras. This beautiful sound. So you, you will go. have it on your computer. Yeah, I will. So um, okay. There's our food. So yeah. Do you want to do you want to talk all uh, highs lows and highs? highs? Yes. Do you have any lows for the week? Um. Well, if I start with the high, I don't know. The low and the okay. high are sort of very connected. Well, let's start with the highs then. We'll, well go the other way around. Okay, that's fine. So my high is that I was able to ride 20 miles with you and be fine. That's right. And um, That's, yeah, so yeah. I was very proud of myself that, that I was great. I was able to ride 20 miles and uh, mm -hmm. feel good. Yep. Except then, hallelujah. so that was hallelujah, hallelujah, right? So then, but of course, then afterwards I was really hungry. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I hear a low coming. <laughs> And then I ate pizza and ice cream. We ate pizza and ice cream. Pizza and ice cream. And I guess I just overdid the ice cream just a little bit, even though it was a small. Yeah, but small, small over there is over, big. Yeah. I know. It was still too much. So then, of course, the next day I have, uh, I don't know, like a 24-hour yep. stomach ache. <laughs> not feeling good at all. <laughs> so. so it's all right. So how was... Those are, I think, what's, my highs and lows too well. What's your highs and lows? <laughs> well, I think my high was we, we got to do a lot of things this weekend. It was a busy weekend, but we still got to have time to do things together. And, and um, I think my low was that you didn't feel that good after that today. So so we uh, we have to pick one or the other, I guess, pizza or ice cream after a ride. But it was a great weekend. So, um, so hallelujah and, and Lord have mercy. So in the meantime, let's enjoy this beautiful meal right here. Um, so we'll be right back. And we're back. Thank you very much. That was an awesome dinner, awesome salad. Uh, so thank you. It's very good. So um, next will be um, our scripture reading from this coming Sunday. And that's going to be um, Romans chapter 11 verses 1 through 2 and 29 through 32. Paul writes, I ask then, has God rejected his people? By no means. I myself am an Israelite, a descendant of Abraham, a member of the tribe of Benjamin. God has not rejected his people whom he foreknew. For the gifts and calling of God are irrevocable. Just as you were once disobedient to God, but have now received mercy because of their disobedience, so they have now been disobedient in order that by the mercy shown to you, they too may now receive mercy. For God has imprisoned all in disobedience so that he may be merciful to all. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. So that's an interesting text. Yeah, might need a little explanation on that. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> No, you, you tell me. <laughs> oh. Well, Paul is trying to talk about the fact that um, God doesn't have favorites, that, that the people of Israel aren't being rejected just because the Gentiles are being invited into this okay. salvific work. So Jews and Gentiles alike are all going to eligible to receive mercy. Right. Everyone has faith. I always get uh, confused with the disobedience piece. In yeah, that. it's like uh, the the way yeah. you explain it makes a lot of sense to me. It's like and um, so <laughs> this whole piece about um, nobody is God's favorite, right? Sort of we're all invited, you mm -hmm. know that um, that sort of resonates with me. It's like I uh, 
you know, as, as you know, maybe somebody else knows too. Um, you know, I'm the youngest of five. And mm -hmm. when we were kids, you know, you never get treated the same because you can't be treated the same. It's like right. you're, you're five different kids, you're all different ages. So it would mm -hmm. be silly to treat everybody the same. But, right. you know, as a kid, you're always like, well, he gets this, she got this, what do I get? And it's like, it's always this sort of competition going on and who gets what and, mm -hmm. um, you know, and then they're, they're, you never got treated the same. And it's like, it's, it's also funny because we all had different roles. Mm -hmm. Like I had the role of being the historian and I, I never knew this until I was, until actually my dad passed away because oh, wow. it's like, we were sort of gathered together and I, I was saying, um, yeah, well, you know, um, these documents are here and this document is there and I'm not even in the country and I knew where stuff was <laughs> wow, and, so. and I knew the stories and they have, there were pictures and I knew who the people were in the picture. And, uh, mm. so nobody else has any idea because <laughs> like I said, we all had tasks even mm -hmm. when we were kids. And I, so I think God sometimes too we have certain roles that we are supposed to play yeah and uh maybe mm -hmm. we assign these roles to us too maybe these are not even god's roles that we're playing but well, just because we're having different roles and different tasks and even sometimes slightly mm -hmm. different views doesn't really mean that we're all that different right or 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 better right yeah so no that, that's that, true different that was my, my convoluted way of <laughs> that's good no I, I like that <laughs> And and it doesn't. You don't have to have five kids in the family to have that because you know we were always somehow in competition. And I remember my, my brother and I each thought the other one was dad's favorite all the time. And then, um, so we always thought the other one was. So. Well, I knew <laughs> I was dad's favorite. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Well, there you go. So much for what Paul no. wrote. <laughs> That's true. I hear you. No, I think. Yeah. <laughs> no, I hear you. I'm just joking. Yeah, it's funny. Hey, it's but, whether whether or not I was, my dad always made me feel this way. You know? There you go. <laughs> so, exactly. <laughs> so not that I was dad's favorite. I just mm -hmm. felt you that felt I was you. dad's favorite. Exactly. That's he could, funny. He could never so, stay mad at me. <laughs> nobody can. <laughs> So, um, yeah, no, it's interesting. And, and when, when, when Paul, the, 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 the grammar Paul uses is so weird because he says everybody's been imprisoned into disobedience so that he can give mercy. It almost sounds like he's got, you know, like Munchausen, like he's punishing everybody so that he can give mercy. And that's not what he really means. What he means is be, because of the fact that everybody's, because of the fact that we're all disobedient, um, God is showing mercy to everyone. Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah, and no, and we have a tendency to want to level each other and and be in competition and who's who's better and which faith is better and and um, and they were having a lot of that problem in the early church. So, um, and the Romans too had different hierarchies of you know gods and things. So, Paul's trying to say, you know what, God treats everyone equally. And yes, different roles, different expectations, and yet same mercy, same love, same creation shown to all. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Let's do, let's, um, thank you for your insight. That was, thank you for your, your story. That was great. Um, so now we're going to take a minute. We'll read the, the prayers. Um, let's see. The Lord be with you. Let's pray. Lord, you gathered the church to be a part of your mission as ambassadors of Jesus Christ. As Jesus acknowledged the great faith of a woman from outside his people, um, help your church discover and find blessing in the faith of people that we might reject. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. You call the nations to be glad and to sing for joy. Let your way be known among all nations of the world, now divided by competing interests and uh, consumed by enormous worry. Bless us all and make your face shine upon all. Lord, in your mercy, yeah, hear our prayer. prayer. Lord, you show unexpected mercy, kindness, and generosity. 
We pray for those who do not have enough, for outcasts in our villages, cities, and towns, and for those who need your healing, especially those whose names we lift up to you now, either silently or aloud. Lord, in your mercy, yeah. you hear our prayer. Your eternal promises are more than we could ever imagine, God. As you gather all the saints together, especially those uh, whose names are in our minds, who have passed away recently, or anniversaries of those, uh, join us also with them on the great day of your salvation. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And so it is an sure and certain hope that nothing can ever separate us from your love. We offer all these prayers to you through Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. Amen. Amen. And so now may the peace of the Lord be with you always. And also. Well, and peace be with you. Oh, there's the dog. <laughs> right on cue. <laughs> so take a moment to share the peace with the people around you. Um, make a call, send a text, let somebody know that God loves them too. <laughs> so, yes, Noodle, God loves you too. Say hi. Different role, different expectation, <laughs> same mercy, smaller cage. <laughs> All right. So, and now may the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face to shine on you and be gracious to you. May the Lord look upon each one of you with favor and grant you peace. Amen. Amen. So, thank you for being with us and tuning in, and we hope you enjoy your dinner at home, and we hope to see you either in church or on video next week. Stop. Stop. Stop? Oh, yes. There's sure. one more thing. <laughs> How could I forget? <laughs> Hold on. Dessert's coming right up. Let there be pie. <laughs> Let there be pie. Marlies has created for us these blueberry peach Pies. That was easy. Not even with compote, just blueberry peach pie. <laughs> so we will enjoy and uh, we'll be thinking of you while we eat our, our pie. Thank you, Marlies, for this is just looks beautiful. So anyway, blessings to you all. We'll see you next week. <laughs>